us our conversations. I'll never forget how I was able to tell you everything that was on my mind. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. You always looked after me, brother, when we were children. You always had my back. Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, still missed, still loved. 525,600 minutes have passed since we as a collective remembered those who have had their lives stolen from them. 365 days since we said not one more, but yet we are here. According to the FBI, there's been a spike in hate crimes against our transgender communities in the past Milwaukee two years. Milwaukee police are investigating after a black transgender woman is shot and killed. State police released four sentences on this murder so far, saying someone shot Brandon Murray to death. A shooting in the city's Kensington section is being investigated as a hate crime. Police are detected. There is a playground question that often gets thrown around. Would you rather know when or know how you will pass away? Sadly, for over 300 transgender individuals this year alone, they didn't assume it would be by the hand of another. I posed the question to our world leaders. How can you watch this planet we call home crumble so far that 52% of the trans and non-binary community of the US have sincerely considered taking their own lives? And how can you sleep knowing that 31% of the Indian transgender community have taken their own lives? And how, how can you live knowing that 20% of all transgender students in New Zealand have attempted suicide in the last year. This isn't just a localized issue this side of the pond. The countless number of transgender individuals who have taken their own lives this year alone, just because the people who were supposed to love them unconditionally couldn't handle their child's happiness and or were failed by the state for not providing trans care in a reasonable time frame. 1,023 days. That's how long Alice Lippman was on the NHS waiting list. This is the stark reality of trans medical care in the United Kingdom. This is the trans debate. 1,023 days, just short of three years, where within that period, 1,300 transgender individuals were reported to have had their lives taken from them worldwide. When you do the math, with these horrendous figures, that is more than one death per day. Yet here we are, months after months, year after year, we are beyond the point of begging for our lives, but we're not done fighting for our rights. This year, it is time to stand up in solidarity. Remember those who have passed and use their flames to burn down the hate. I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you. I'm sorry that our world failed me.